Alright, the bong here. So we don't have inventory on our ESX. So we currently installed our ESX legacy. So what we're going to do now is go to OX inventory. So you guys, you can just simply type OX inventory the documentation and then you will find this. So first up is we have to install OX lab so um you just have to press this release button in here and then uh, you will see that there is a latest update so we're going to use it and then scroll down below you will see ox lab and then you just have to press it and then start downloading once you've downloaded it you are going to extract it using winrar so if you don't have installed it yet you have to install it okay and then once the file is extracted you have to go in it and then you have to copy the folder that was extracted earlier and then next up is you have to uh, put it in your server resources there you go you just have to face it here the next thing we're going to download is the ox inventory so always click the latest version so that you will use the latest version of ox inventory you just have to download it once it was downloaded of course you're going to uh, extract it using uh, winrar or 7zip and then copy the folder that you have extracted earlier to your resources okay server resources there you go next tip is um you see that ox target is optional but we have to install it since we're using esx so press the release button and then always select the latest and uh, download it So once you've downloaded it, uh, same thing you're going to do is just to extract it using WinRAR. And then you are going to shimpre, um, copy the file and paste it into your server. Risk. Now scroll down to uh, set up a bridge module portion and then copy this a piece of code and then go to your server cfg and then paste it there and of course you have to replace the custom into esx since we're using esx legacy now open your visual studio code and then create a new file and then name it config.cfg and then the file directory is into your ox inventory and then create file and then go back to uh, ox documentation and paste the code and then <coughs> go to your uh, C server cfg and then of course you have to replace the custom into esx and then you have to put um start in orderly so don't make a mistake on this or else it will you know um give you problem so scroll down at resource start order so first up is ox lab so ox lab must be next to my x uh, ox xql and then <coughs> next up is ox target after your framework which is ESX legacy or core and then put the OX inventory so you're good to go you have to just restart the um, server that you have and then when it was once it was restarted you can check the live console so that you will see if there's an error with the code that you have put or the, the, or the resources that you put in your server so sorry guys for uh, my language um, I'm not good at English because um, English is not my primary language but I'm here just to help you with this matter okay so start your 5m server 
um, we're currently um, named it test so it was local hosted guys you can change the uh, loading screen next time I will uh, uh, put a video on my youtube channel so don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this so in this uh, uh, tutorial I'd like to make a lot of uh, tutorials regarding uh, we, um, about making your server more optimized and of course um, input a lot of resources that you want okay okay now that we're on our server let's see if it were if it works yeah it is named the bong lato lato and then there you go there you go guys um ox inventory is now working so please subscribe for more videos like this thank you very much adios mio marikara